Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artelian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Life Spy Girl on here, and we're not in Gale Crater today. We are near Endeavour Crater, and this is from the Opportunity Rover, not the Curiosity. So, and it's from Sol 4081 to 84 Northwest, and this has been compiled by Neva Thompson, another great job here. And I've been going over a lot of these Opportunity Im images recently uh, since. Um, the tank find I put up about a week or two ago, uh, which was found by uh, a fellow researcher from Russia. And uh, basically, I'll show you it here, is this one. Mars battle tank, Martian structure resembles military vehicle, which is doing rather well. Um, that really does look like a tank, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. But uh, that, that's kind of forced me into going over some of these ridge lines again, which are quite interesting. Um, to see if there's anything else similar because if there obviously if there is military wreckage and other things in the area there should be more um more anomalies nearby uh if, there, if there's any kind of logic to it really so this is a, 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 an example of that so i went over this image and i started looking along this ridge line and uh the quality is pretty good it's a little bit a bit fuzzy in some places. Uh, the camera on this uh, rover is very similar to the one on the Opportunity. It takes kind of slightly out of focus images all the time and rarely really focus, focuses properly on individual areas. Um, this is done, I think, just to save time and, and uh, basically the camera just takes panoramic shots, which are never exactly in focus. And then I, I sort of I scanned along this ridge line and thought, oh, that's weird. What's this here? We've got a big sort of rocky outcrop here on the, on, the, on the top left of the image and something rather perfectly, almost perfectly round sticking out from it. So I zoomed in and thought, what the hell is that? It looks, now I'm not sure if this is, but I haven't done anything to this, as you can see, like a mouth here and a nose and an eye and a very vague lighter patch there which looks like an ear okay I don't know if you can see that now I do use quite high quality encoding when I do videos but, but unfortunately when the videos are uploaded to YouTube they do lose a little bit of definition um, so you have to enhance these images so that people on mobile devices can see what you're seeing on screen okay so there we have it let me, let me get that in context for you and zoom right out so you can see where to look so you can follow the link down below in the description and zoom straight up into this corner and have a look yourself yeah there's, there, there are some interesting rocks in here but I, I think like as usual 99.9% .9 of them are just rocks uh, and some of it's a bit vague obviously, obviously not all these photos were taken at exactly the same time they were taken probably minutes apart or 30 seconds apart so the light changes slightly between different parts of the image some of it looks a bit lighter, some a bit darker. But it's pretty good, pretty clear. And there we have it. So you zoom right up to there. And we have this, what I'm going to call a little Buddha looking kind of statue or something. Um, it may just be a rock with a hole in it that just happens to have a, a, a shadow where a nose and an eye would be and an, and an ear. But look at the shape of it. And it looks very odd the way it's behind this set of rocks here. Now all these are, are, are the same kind of luminosity along here on this ridge line obviously where the sun is kind of like coming down and they're all kind of lit the same as you go along it all looks normal like normal rocks would do on the ridge line and then you have this rather different one which is definitely behind this rock it's not attached to it because it's it's got a different shadowy it has a different luminosity basically and uh, the shadows are not matching up with these it's, it's kind of it's smoother and darker and it doesn't have the the sort of rough texture that we've got on this rock here it's much smoother okay so I'll show you that in my folder because I've got it already processed for you and uh, I'll, I'll just flick through those I mean this may just be a rock that just happens to be shaped like a head that just happens to have a, a mouth, nose and eye kind of detail on it. Uh, but there does seem to be a lot of these on Mars and I get trolled terribly on YouTube and, and uh, on Facebook and stuff like that by people just saying it's pareidolia. It's almost like 
all the skeptics out there, a lot of them are professional skeptics, by the way. A lot of them are, are, are sock puppets or trolls. And they, they've all learnt this one word which they've been told by the mainstream media, and that is the word paradonia. Uh, and that's the only word they seem to know. Um, so, yeah, I like to use the word paradonia, which is basically someone who inanely uses the word paradonia over and over again to explain anything they don't like or don't understand. Of course, basically, there are a lot of rocks on Mars that probably just do look like things and are just rocks, of course. I absolutely appreciate that. But calling everything pareidolia is non-scientific and, and is not helping the situation, especially when you have multiple uh, statues like I have on my channel and and or skulls as, as well. Like we have, we got a skull here and a skull here. These aren't all statues. Some of these may just be a coincidence. Some of them just may happen to look that way because of the rock broke in a certain way. Or but you, you've got. This thing here, I mean, it's a perfect human shape. It's got this narrow kind of skull uh, shape here, which this this is actually, I think, a, a statue here, as these are, most of these are. This one is one I, I republished recently. This is also a, an opportunity image, this one here, uh, and it's not very far from where we are looking now. Um, but all these are Curiosity rover images. This skull here with the eye, eyes still intact and the teeth was found by James Tracy a great find that absolutely amazing and that was right in front of the rover which it completely ignored it's quite small it's only about four or five inches across about four inches uh, so it's not human sized that's that's less than half the size of a human skull so we can determine from these uh, statues and and uh, specimens if you, you might call them the skulls the morphology of the Martians and this one here um, basically uh, is not human. Uh, it has humanoid features uh, with hair. I, I colorized this just to highlight the, the, the face and, and neck, but the teeth on it are, are, are much more pronounced than human teeth. Um, so you can determine some of the morphology of the Martians from this. And basically you even have little statuette figures like this Mars man walking, like this one here, which looks like a little statuette in the distance. That's probably only about two foot tall. It may it may just be a trick of the light. There's also this one here, this little guy in the corner up here, behind the rock. Now, this if this is a guy wearing a hat, <laughs> um, it's he's only about one and a half or two feet tall, something like that. So it could it could be that the Martians were very small. Uh, this one here, this is also very small. This is only probably two or three inches. Uh, some of these are quite large this one's large this is you know i won't go into all the sizes now the cyclops one here is also very large that's about two foot one uh, one and a half to two feet tall so some of these statues were big and some of them were very small does that mean all the martians were very small or very big no probably a bit of both so you can determine some things from these uh from these uh statues and things but only a certain amount um what we need more of are actual skulls of actual Martians to look at their morphology and find out what they were like and how tall they were and that kind of thing, which is something I've been attempting to do. But to call them all of this pareidolia is absolute nonsense, especially this one, which is my favourite. I think it's a great specimen here. Not specimen, statue. <laughs> uh, that's a specimen next to it, and as, as is that, but this is a statue, and most of these are. At least they look that way. So... Calling everything pareidolia is simply trying to suppress this kind of research. And if you see people doing it, call them out on it, you know. If you think you see, see something that, that is blatantly a statue or a skull or, or, or say, a, a lizard or something like that on Mars, <clears throat> then then tell them, you know. And, and if, if they keep trolling you and, and uh, harassing you and bullying you and to try and, and try and get you to stop doing your research, then call them out, you know, flag them, you know. Uh, so there we have it. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly show you these images. I'll put these in at the end again anyway so you can see them. Okay, here's the basic image. All right. You can see a mouth, a nose, and an eye, and then what looks like an ear here. And I've just darkened this a bit. I haven't done literally anything to it. I've just darkened it so you can see some of these details. So... Let's zoom in a bit, there we go. 
There we are. That's it. I mean, it's it's not an amazingly clear find. It's quite vague. It's quite a, a long way from the rover. I'd say it's about 30, 40 feet away, possibly a bit less, but between 20 and 40 feet anyway. Yeah, something like that. And I, I, I estimate this to be about a foot across or a bit less, maybe nine inches or don't know. But it's not huge and it's not tiny. It's kind of human sized. And you can see why I call it a Buddha. It, see, what, what I found really odd about this, I thought, what, what does it remind me of? And then I, I realised I've got a little Buddha in the house. It's, it's one of these little lucky charm Buddhas that you have. And you rub the belly and it's supposed to give you good luck and, and, and bring you wealth and that kind of thing. Hasn't worked yet. <laughs> um, and it kind of looks like that. It's almost like a child uh, uh, head, almost. But I, I got this page up here just to compare. The Smiling Buddha and is, is very popular, obviously, in places like China and Japan and the Far East. And is a good luck kind of uh, thing. I've got one of these in my in my room at home. And uh, you rub the belly. But if you look carefully, let's have a look at one of these here. Look at the ears. The huge earlobes, okay? Now, this is common in, in many, many ancient gods from the Far East. Um... And then I sort of had a, I thought, well, that's interesting. I, I didn't really take much notice of that to start with. And I went back to the folder and I thought, hang on a minute. Let's have another look at this. You've got a possible earlobe here. You can see this lighter bit here. I don't know if you can see that. I will do more enhancements of this and brighten it a bit more for you. Because I, I don't, the, the thing is, it's a double-edged sword. When you enhance images, you get accused of Photoshopping. And I try and do the absolute minimum to these images to, to make them clear enough. Because if I think if you over-process images, it can make them worse. And also, it looks like you're embellishing them too much. But there does seem to be something hanging down here. Like here, like a, like a sort of shadow there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call it a Buddha. Uh, I know that there are other supposed stru uh, structures and, and uh, statues that have been found by people that have been called Buddha and are, are really, really a lot less clear than this. And the image quality is way, way poorer than this. So this may not be the best quality image, but it's certainly better than a lot of things that other people claim to be either statues or whatever. It kind of looks better from this distance because uh, you can actually see it slightly sharper. And I don't know if you can see that ear kind of thing there. But you can see something like a, a, a hanging down just there. So that, that maybe I, maybe this is pareidolia. Maybe I'm just seeing things here. But it's a very odd rock, if it is a rock, the way it's sticking out behind this ridge line, sticking up behind it, as if there's something sat right there in a lotus position. In, in you know, uh, is 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 it a statue? That is the, that is the question. And when. It, I haven't actually, I don't think, found any statues in the Opportunity images so far. They've all been in the in the uh, Gale Crater with the uh, Curiosity Rover. So I'm, I'm a bit sceptical about this. So I'm, I'm not going to say for definite this is a statue. I'm saying it looks like one. Not the same thing. But when you zoom in, you can actually see a mouth there. And it's kind of lit up around the mouth like a, a, with a fat sort of baby-like uh, face and cheek, much like a Buddha, and an ear, okay? So I'll put these clips in again in, in, in the end in a minute. Um, let's have a look at some more of these. Is it like any of these? No, it isn't, not really. In shape only, it's similar to this thing, which I call the Cyclops, because he, he only seems to have one eye, because um, it's very round. Uh, but size-wise, it, it's, um, it's kind of human-sized, uh, much like this statue here at the bottom so there we have it is it another statue or is it just a rock that has a hole a couple of holes in it that just happened to be the right size in the right formation with the right morphology to look just like a head uh, see I actually think it's far more likely that there was life on Mars than, than that there can possibly be so many rocks that look so amazingly like uh, statues um, and of course the melt zones on Mars probably have microbes living in the ice and water there there are microbes on Earth that live in ice which can actually 
tunnel through ice. They have um, like a, a saline kind of structure on the outside of their cellular wall, which means they can melt through ice. So I would I would fully expect to find microbes in the Martian ice areas in the melt zones. And it's highly possible. And of course, ice uh, uh, forms on the rocks at night on Mars, on these ridge lines. It gets very, very cold on Mars at night. It's, it's warm during the day, but at night it's extremely cold, uh, down to about like minus 180 or something like that in the winter. But in the, in the daytime, it, it, it's very warm, and that's, that's why these rocks kind of crack and, and fracture like they do, because obviously they're getting super heat, well, not, they're getting heated up warm during the day and, and freezing right down at night, and you get all these shards coming off. But, but even, even if you take that into to account, this thing, even from this distance, looks odd. The way it's st stuck up there, it looks very foreign to the the, the the actual landscape around it. And the luminosity is different, even from this distance. You can see that it's much darker. The way it stands out against this rock, just in front of it. Okay, so there we have it. Is it just a rock? Could well be. I think it might just be a statue. So thank you for watching, everybody. Answers below if you think this is something else and uh, do let me know if you found anything on Mars uh, I'll, I'll quite happily publish it and give you full credit for it in the video you never know it may one day even end up on Ancient Aliens or one of the shows that I've been on possibly so leave uh, if you want to do that you can you can email me ask for my email or just or just leave a link in the in the uh, below the description under the video or something or the best way to do it, of course, would be to go to my channel and send me a message via YouTube, okay? So thanks for all your support, and keep the uh, anomalies coming. There will be more, I'm sure. And uh, don't forget to give the thumbs up, because it does really help. My channel is struggling like many are at the moment. Uh, YouTube's gone through a bit of a hard time recently, and uh, it's getting very difficult. And I... I they have rearranged the way the the, the, the uh, videos are shown on the in the feed that you get now, and I think they're deliberately kind of trying to push some of the our channels down. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. Maybe that's just me being paranoid. But there we go. So, and you can also get this image on on my page, um, which I'll get up very quickly for you now. It's this one, Mars Magazine. I'll put that back in at the top of the page for you. Uh, and you can download it for free. So here we have uh, Morris Magazine. This is free to join. Anyone can join this page. If you do find anything interesting on Mars, or anywhere else, like the moon perhaps, um, post the link on here or let me know, and I'll take a look at it. Everybody's welcome. Boys and girls. Uh, there are not just guys doing this astronomy stuff now, and, and alien archaeology. Lots of girls doing it as well, and doing a very good job. So you can download this for free, and uh, I will see you soon. And don't forget to give the thumbs up and share the video. Thanks for watching.